Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Time to Cook. I am taking a road trip today and I'm going to go see my friend Amy's new home. And she has graciously allowed me to take over her new kitchen. So I thought that maybe you might want to come along with me. Okay, so let me uh, tell you the plan for today's kitchen takeover. I will be cooking a meal for Amy and her family using ingredients that she has on hand. And I have absolutely no idea what she has, what I will make, and I will be cooking in a kitchen that I have never even seen. So this should definitely be interesting. A fun and a challenge so stay tuned everybody so I just want to take a moment and ask you to please subscribe if you have not already I do share delicious recipes every single week uh, and if you want to be notified when I upload those uh, videos just hit the notification bell that you see right below this video Okay, so I made it to Amy's new house. Let's go ring her doorbell. Hey! Hey! How are you? Good, how are you? Come in, come in. Ooh, I'm so nice. excited you're here. Did you come to take over my kitchen? I did. Okay, this way. Oh, wow. This is my kitchen. This is beautiful, Thank Amy. You. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to take over your new kitchen? Yes, I'm so excited. You're welcome to use anything. The fridge is here, the pantry is here. So, all right. It's well, yours. Okay, I'm going to start checking out your fridge and pantry to see what I can find. Okay, all right. I'm excited. All right, let's see what we've got here. <laughs> Ooh, I see some oranges. All right. Ooh, I see some chicken thighs. That is good. What else we got? Some carrots here. There's some other vegetables. So we got some lettuce, cabbage it looks like, and maybe some broccoli back there. Amy's pantry. Ooh, wow. Let's see what we got. All right. All right, I see some rice. Let's see, and some soy sauce. Um, thinking, do we want to go Mexican theme or Asian? That's a good question. All right, I'm going to start gathering some ingredients. I think I'm going to get some rice, and I'm going to need some sugar, uh, some vegetable oil. All right, I'm going to grab the soy sauce, and some flour. Okay, let's see what she's got up here. Well, I'm gonna need this cornstarch and this rice vinegar. Ooh, I think I am gonna go with these oranges and carrots. I'm gonna need some garlic. Hey, Christy, what are you making? <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna go Asian. Does that sound okay with you all? Yes. I think I'm gonna do um, an orange chicken with broccoli. I know that you guys like broccoli, right? Yes. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. But first, I've got to get my apron. I'm um, gonna get my apron. All right, you go get your apron too. Okay, so I'm going to place a few carrots in a small sauce pot and then cover them with water 
And then I'm going to cook them on the stove until they are tender. flour the dredge that I'm going to coat this chicken in, okay? Okay. I'm going to add a mixture of flour and cornstarch. Okay. The cornstarch gives the, the batter on the chicken a nice crunchy texture. Can you go get me that salt that I put, that I got out of that cabinet? Awesome. Add a little bit of salt to this and I'm going to use a nice measuring spoon as the palm of my hand. <laughs> I don't know, about a teaspoon. All right, so I'm going to cut this chicken into small pieces. dip my chicken into the flour mixture and then the egg and then the hot grease. Okay, so I have fried up all the pieces of chicken and now I'm gonna place the chicken in a 400 degree oven for right around 15 minutes until it's completely cooked through and the crust will get nice and golden brown and crispy. The reason I boiled these carrots is because they take the longest to cook and it makes slicing them so much easier. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my vegetables that I cut up and I'm going to dump them in the skillet. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and cover them and let them steam a little bit. And now I'm going to make my sauce. Okay, I'm also, real quickly, I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay, so next I'm going to make the delicious orange sauce to go with this orange chicken. All right, so I'm going to zest one orange into this bowl. Okay, and then I am going to juice this orange. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, juice the second orange. So I'm going to juice two oranges. I'm going to add about a or a third a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of rice wine vinegar. And about a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Alright, this is around a third of a cup of cornstarch. So that was one cup of water. And I'm just gonna add a just a little bit of the red the crushed red pepper flakes just for a little kick. Okay, so I actually went ahead and added another orange, about another tablespoon of soy sauce and uh, rice wine vinegar, about another tablespoon of cornstarch and sugar. Wanted to, it didn't look like enough of the sauce, but I think we're good now, so I'm gonna pour it over the vegetables. So 
So once you pour the sauce on, then you just gotta stir it until the sauce gets nice and thick. And now I'm just going to add the chicken to this sauce with the vegetables, and then I'm gonna mix it all together. Okay, I'm gonna carefully <laughs> mix this together. Ooh, that looks good. All right, I think this looks pretty good. Do you all think it looks good? Yeah. I think so too, I'm excited. Well, how is it, everybody? Great. 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 Well, thank you so, so much. Good for letting me take over your kitchen. This is my first ever kitchen takeover video. I had a lot of fun. Um, so I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with more recipes.